what's up you guys so um today i kind of just gonna do something like a vlog style type of video but i don't know for sure but um i am going to get a blowout today and i have never had a blowout um i haven't straightened my hair or anything um besides just like blow drying my hair so i'm going to get a blowout um i found this girl who does hair out here in la on instagram um i believe her name is kelly i'm gonna post like all her information in the description below i don't know if she's gonna let me film or if she'll be comfortable with me filming um in her studio but i do want to film it so you guys can kind of see you know like the process or whatever but um her work on her instagram is super nice um and just ever since i found her page i'm like i've been wanting to blow out so i finally decided to get one and i'm excited because i'm not getting like a regular blow i'm getting like a whole little scalp treatment which i definitely need because my scalp is always dry and just flaky my braids every time i get braids just it just never lasts like and i'm tired of it so i need a treatment so i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me like a vlogger like a youtuber <laughs> um and just hopefully she'll be comfortable with the camera if not you guys will see the um like the end results of the blowout but i just took my braids out yesterday or last night and this is how my hair looked after i took out the braids and she's gonna wash it and do the entire process so stay tuned okay y'all so i'm here with kelly and she's about to start the process I'm gonna um, get my hair washed first. I'm doing the R&R blowout. Um, so, here we go. Okay, so tell me about your hair. So, okay, my hair, like my scalp is really dry. Um, it's so dry and like every time I get braids, it's just, it never lasts. People say that like clarifying isn't good, but it's only because it strips it strips oh, the hair, hair so it's not good to use it every single day but it's definitely it's necessary when you have curly hair because our hair just gets so filled yeah especially because we're used to oiling our scalp and doing all those things you know how do you clarify your hair though it's just the right shampoo you just use a clarifying shampoo uh, i have one I'll, I'll use it on you okay yeah i heard about apple cider vinegar yeah Okay. You can use that too. It just stinks. Yeah. That's the only thing. Okay. Like, I just don't know how to get the smell out. Mm -hmm. But other than that. And then also, like, I think that's why my washing goes are trash. <laughs> because <laughs> because like, nothing is penetrating. Yeah. Nothing's getting through. Yeah. Like, I really want to cut my hair. Like, I want to cut my hair. Like, like a cut? Like, as short as your hair. Stop. <laughs> I've always to start over? To cut. I mean, I, I feel was, everybody should do I feel like if I were to cut my hair, I probably wouldn't grow it out. I'd wear it short for a while. Mm -hmm. Because I just always have wanted short hair. Yeah, same. Yeah. And everybody's like, don't cut your hair. Same. This is that. And I'm just like, it's hair. It'll grow back. Literally. And when you cut it that short, it grows back way faster than you want. Exactly. So. Yeah. No, I was the same way. Before I cut my hair, I used to always like joke around. Like, I'm going to shave my head. So once it, but you're adding enough product, you know? Yeah. Because I think that would be good for you because it's light enough, but it still has oils in it. Okay. You don't want to like overdo it with the, with the oils. Yeah, that's a good one. I've heard of like all different types of ways, like the LCO, LOC. Yeah. Which I, I would say, like, yeah, those those ways are definitely good, but you have to pay attention to your hair. Yeah. And if your hair is already very, very moisturized, almost oily, too moisturized, then like adding heavier creams might not be the thing. Maybe you can 
maybe you can cocktail it, you know what I mean? Like maybe a cream just on the ends, you know? Or maybe just on your roots if you feel like your roots like puff up a little bit and maybe your roots you want them to be weighed down. Some people don't because they want their uh, yeah, hair to get big, yeah, so they don't put heavy on the roots, they just put heavy on the, you know, on the ends to make sure their ends are together. But yeah, just always base it off of your hair. Yeah, I've been wanting to do it. Yeah. 